How's it going? This is exclusively Kamado. We're going live right now, cooking up some Montana Porterhouse. My uh, alarm just went off. These steaks have been on the Komodo Kamado here for about four minutes. So let's bust this thing open, give it a little burp, see we get what we got going on. Looking pretty good. Hopefully you'll be able to uh, see it all right with the light that we have. So, yep, that's working out. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this, lock it into place and reset the clock here. What's really fun about the uh, Komodo Komodo is that once you get it rocking and rolling, um, man, it'll just hold at the temperature that you want for, uh, boy, it seems like forever. I've heard that these will actually hold at a low temperature, 225 under testing for, uh, you know, as long as 48 hours, which is pretty amazing. But it's not surprising because the whole grill is really well built. Um, you can see like the bottom draft door right there, which I have open because I want to uh, let in a bunch of airflow. And then uh, my top is kind of uh, dialed down, but you know, just so much more airflow can get into uh, the cooker versus, um, you know, a lot of other grills that I've cooked on. So anyhow, what we're doing is uh, similar to a recent cook where we did uh, strip steaks. Here we're going to uh, have porterhouse. I'm gonna go about four minutes aside. I've just found that is the magic number and uh, works pretty well. So we're approaching the two minute mark here. Um, as soon as my alarm goes off, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is give those steaks a quarter turn so that uh, they just start uh, continue to have those delicious grill marks here and uh, we'll let you take a peek at that as it happens. Curious what everyone's cooking this weekend. I know it's Good Friday. Probably shouldn't be having meat, but um, <laughs> such is life. When you see some beautiful porterhouse steaks at your local butcher, you take advantage of it as much as you can. So wondering what everyone's cooking for the holiday weekend. Probably a lot of hams, maybe some lamb going on. Um, but it's also fun to hear about seafood and non-traditional stuff. So here we are, we're right at the couple minute mark. These guys are looking amazing. So I'm gonna give them a quarter turn again. Pretty happy with that. So just set my timer for the final two minutes. And as you can see, the grill grates are really adding some amazing color right in this area not only the hash marks but um onto the steak itself so i'm gonna go ahead and shut this down lock it and create that strong seal uh with the komodo komodo um i just it makes a bit of a, a vacuum it forces the air to rush up you know from the bottom through the top you know as you're cooking with the grill and uh it's just a great way to transfer the heat and and uh flavor and smoke to your food while you're cooking so it's not just not just steak tonight we've got a little bit of broccoli which i've got par cooked and then i have a, a nice um sweet garlic uh, vinaigrette from tea lish tea lish's uh vinaigrettes on there so as soon as these porterhouses are ready for a little bit of a rest um after cooking i'm gonna go ahead and put that broccoli on and we'll see how uh, that turns out but I already know because I've made it before that it should be pretty well turned out pretty well so yeah uh, we ended up doing some fish last night on a different grill and it was pretty amazing the first uh, fresh halibut of the year so getting excited for those types of options to be showing up for us at the supermarket uh, we also had some Chinook salmon and a little piece of um, yellow fin, fin tuna so it worked out grilling season although it snowed here today in Missoula Montana grilling season is just around the corner for a lot of folks um, it never really stops for us but uh, we're still pretty pretty excited to have the warm temperatures back so right now I'm approaching that four minute mark on this side and that means it's time to pull our meat see how the grill has come back and stabilized my alarm's going off so I'll go ahead and shut that off let's get these guys out 
off of the Komodo Komodo and resting quietly there. I'm just gonna go dump this broccoli um, get that finishing up and searing off and with that I wish everyone a uh, great remainder of their Friday uh, hopefully you can check us out on Amazon exclusively Kamado the book and uh, have a great holiday weekend for those of you who celebrate and if you don't just have a great weekend